I'm Phyllis from the Doll Corner and welcome to my channel. And today I want to show you how I make a little coat from a basic pattern. And it it's on the doll quite cute. So I start with my basic pattern. I have my sleeve my bodice back and my bodice front. So to make my pattern, I take my back and I draw around it. And I have a little pleat in the back here. So I have to add three quarters of an inch on here and I draw a straight line here and I just ease this out a wee bit like in about nine inches I'm out maybe three quarters of an inch so then this is my back pattern and my front pattern I have uh, this is my front and this is my facing and I do the same thing. I just trace this around and ease this out about the same amount. Or the same amount, I should say. So three quarters of an inch or so here. So that is my basic. And then I have my sleeve pattern. And I want a long sleeve. So I just fold my paper in half and trace it around and then I make whatever length of sleeve I would like. And I, depending on the doll's hand and arm, I might bring it in a little bit. If it's more fuller arm, I'll leave it straight. So it all depends on the doll. So when I get that all done, I Just checking to see if my camera's working. This is my front. And this is the back. And you can see how on the back for my pleat, I sewed this down about an inch. But if your doll is a small doll, you probably would only want to come down a half an inch or a quarter of an inch, about a half an inch probably. And then I sew right down along the edge. I make sure I'm centered the center of the back of my, my coat. And then I go out the three quarters of an inch and I fold it over and then stitch down here and stitch down this and that keeps it makes it look more like a pleat now if you had a woven fabric that would press well it, it, you might be able to eliminate that but you can't press this so this holds it and then for the back I like to Add a little belt across the back. And what I did, I took a piece of fabric and give it a pull. And then I just hand stitched it along. And then I find out where the waist is, where I want this belt to go and place it across here. Now I don't put it the full, I narrow it in a bit. See it's, and attack it here and on this side. So then I have my shoulder seam sewn together and the next thing is my collar. Now you want a little 
V in here for your collar. So you, you leave a uh, half an inch, quarter of an inch, somewhere in there, whatever size your doll. It all depends on the size of the doll. And then I just sew my collar on. Now, and I did, the, you see, the other side is the same. So you, this is where you, the facing folds, where I have my pin. So I want to come back here and here. Take this off. And from this point and this point, I measure that and that's the size I want my collar to be and I cut a piece about two inches and fold it in half and make my seam here and from this measurement around here was seven inches so I made my collar this dis from here to here seven inches. I fold it in half and find the center and I put it the center mark right in the center of the back seam. We get some of those pins that are absolutely no good. You can't get them through your material. And I think I've got them all tossed out, and then I find another one. <laughs> anyway, and then I bring this collar around to this distance between here and here. Put a pin in here. And the same on this side. And I cut the collar on the bias so it fits neatly around the neck. You've got a bit of ease. And then you just sew it all together. And then you're ready for to put your sleeves in. sleeves. The sleeve, I, s I put an ease stitch there and this piece is for my cuff of my coat sleeve. So this is cut on the straight grain and I just sew it across there. And it ends up looking like that. And then you can see here where that, I bring it, put my seam just about half an inch above the, and bring it up more onto the sleeve and I do that for both sides and that makes your cuff and then I'm ready to sew it in so I take my eased edge and I stitch along here. I put, I center it with this shoulder seam and I put the other section down, this edge down at, at the seam, side seam, and the same here. And then I just stitch it all together like that. And then when I get 
that all together. This is, I fold my sleeve like this, making sure I've got my cuff all lined up here. And I sew my side seam, anchoring the the belt at the back and down down here, just like I have done here. I have this side all sewn. And this, you see, I have full. The facing I have folded back and it will be back like that. And then I just have it to him. Now there, I haven't got <laughs> This one ham jet, I have pressed it in. I put some of that stay tape, double five said stay tape, and to hold it so that I can stitch it and it'll be all in place. But I think it turned out kind of cute. I'll put her on my little gal over here. Then I put a button and a hook and eye to close it. You could put more than one, but I just went with the one. And hook it like that. And see how the little pleat makes a cute little coat. Oh, I turn. I was showing you. I forgot to turn that back. And then I made her a little hat. And how I did that, I just made a circle and I band. I gathered this in a little bit and put a band on it. Just like that. So that's how that's how she looks. How it looks. This other one will be a longer coat. So that's what I wanted to show you today. If there's if you have any questions, be sure and email me. And if you'd like a free doll pattern, a bonnet pattern, you can email me. And that's at Phil, uh, that's at dollfashion77 at gmail.com. Be sure and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Share. It all helps my channel. And thanks for watching. Bye now.